Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about getting more freelance work in your 30s. The first tip is to make sure to leverage your network. In your 30s it's much more likely you can have a wider network of people. You have the colleagues you've worked with in the past, you have your friends and families, you'll have potentially if you're a parent you'll have networks around that. You may have networks around your kids, around your grandparents, around your parents, whatever it might be. Your network is a lot larger. Make sure to feel more confident when you're speaking about your freelance work. Confidence gives people confidence. So if you have a confident voice, if you have good body posture, body language, if you have a business card, etc., all of this is going to add to your confidence. And this means your networking will actually lead to some leads and hopefully some results for you. That leads quite nicely onto the second tip for getting more freelance work in your 30s, and that is get prepared with cards, websites, and promotional materials. Why is it so important for you to do this in your 30s? Well, sometimes people that are younger, maybe in their 20s or teens, they might put together a business card, but they might not have the opportunities to go out and network and meet the right people. When you're in your 30s, just by the nature of being in your 30s, you're probably gonna be hanging around with people that are more senior, they have more decision-making abilities, have more budget, have more status, more networks, etc. themselves. For example, they may be business owners, they may be directors of businesses, they may be senior management, which means that when you present your business card or your website to those people, they're more likely to take you seriously and they're more likely to have a budget and decision-making ability to make that decision and hire you very quickly. So my recommendation would be to get business cards and make sure they look good with a good logo. Um, try to use, if you put something like CEO or um, Chief Executive Officer, as a freelancer it can look a little bit pretentious. So I would probably stick with things that describe you as a freelancer with the word consultant next to it, for example. So if you're in marketing, you might call yourself you know, a marketing consultant or um, a copywriting consultant or just copy, freelance copywriter, those kinds of things on your business card. Also make sure that your website looks professional. Choose a good domain, choose a good design. And if you can't find a designer, there are templates online. You can also hire designers very easily and cheaply by using freelancing websites as well. Tip number three for getting more freelance work in your 30s is to optimize your channels. What I mean is optimizing your LinkedIn, Facebook, everything else so that people know that you are doing freelancing about your thing. You definitely need to talk about what you're doing online. So make sure that your LinkedIn is optimized for the certain keywords, industries, job titles, etc. that you're looking for as a freelancer. And also make sure that your CV is optimized as well appropriately for your age and your seniority and level of experience. The fourth tip about getting more freelance work in your 30s is to do with advertising. When you're younger, in your 20s for example, you might not feel confident enough or you might not have the budget in order to advertise. However, when you get to your 30s, it's very likely when you're starting freelancing, you've worked before and you've been able to save a little bit money up to prepare you to start freelancing. What I would suggest is if you've got that sort of budget saved up, maybe you've got $500 or $1,000 for a website for business cards, Try and use a low cost provider for websites and then spend the savings on advertising. I'd recommend different advertising channels. It sort of depends on what kind of freelancer you are. But Facebook marketing isn't a bad way to go. Google advertising isn't bad. LinkedIn marketing isn't bad either. Online advertising generally drives a really good return on investment. Generally drives inquiries, that kind of thing. This is exactly what I do for a living and online advertising for small businesses and large businesses. And if you're interested in learning more, definitely check out my other videos, subscribe, because I'm going to be doing videos about how you can promote your services via online advertising channels. Tip number five about getting more work in your 30s is about networking. I mentioned earlier in the video that networking is going to be a bigger part in your 30s. And the best way to do networking is to make sure you're leveraging it at any opportunity. For example, online, think about LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, commenting on YouTube videos, etc. All of these can drive more engagement to your website and more engagement and potentially more opportunities to get more work. In addition to this, consider also networking offline. For example, if you have kids in schools, you could potentially put a flyer or poster or business card onto their community boards. Similarly, 
supermarkets and maybe shopping malls. Sometimes they have areas where local businesses can advertise and you might want to put up a post or something like that to advertise your freelancing services. Similarly, there may be networking groups offline, specifically for your industry or your niche. Check out meetup.com, I believe is the website that's very good for offline events. Also check out Facebook networking groups that also may be doing offline events. And thirdly, you could even start or consider starting a networking group yourself. The sixth tip on getting more work in your 30s is to also leverage social media. Using social media, you can use hashtags and you can, use, you can at people so you can get in touch with different people to do with your niche. What I would suggest you do in the beginning is not try to overly sell your services, but try to add value by offering advice and information and potentially referral links, not necessarily to your sort of work, but maybe to others. And that sort of builds your reputation, builds your sort of thought leadership within the sort of niche or industry that you're looking to target. Later on, you can start promoting some of your own material and definitely suggest using the hashtags of keywords that are relevant for your industry and your job title. The seventh tip about getting more work in your thirties is about resilience. Resilience is really important. Freelancing isn't easy. It's not easy at any age. Understanding that it's a process and it may take time is really important. So make sure to keep your head high Definitely connect with other freelancers in the freelance community, connect with groups. Uh, make sure to, if you want to, ask any questions on these videos as well. The freelance community will definitely help you, I'll reply, etc. So make sure to always keep your head high, know that it could take time to grow your freelance portfolio, but overall it, things do get better and you do get more freelance work. That bonus tip to do with this video about getting more work in your 30s from a freelance perspective is about just being confident and knowing that you've actually developed life skills as well as experiences that you can include in your CV and resume and in conversations that you're having at networking events or at interviews. Even if you're new to freelancing and you feel like you don't have a lot of experience, you can definitely leverage experiences you've got from past working. Even if you're a stay-at-home parent, you can definitely talk about the resilience and the other skills you've learned as a stay-at-home parent. I'm gonna flip it to you guys. What sort of tips would you put in if you're a freelancer in your 30s or maybe you're older and you were freelancer in your 30s? What advice would you give to our freelancer community? Make sure to pop it in the comments below. If you like this video smash the like button and subscribe hit the bell icon and make sure to tick the all notifications that way you'll get to know when my new videos are posted if you've got any suggestions about videos you'd like me to make make sure to pop them down in the comments and i'll add them to my content schedule if you've got any questions that you want to ask privately you can always email me directly at progress is everything at gmail.com also if you're looking for coaching i offer coaching for people that are looking to make the transition from full-time work to freelancing just hit me up with an email and put in the subject title coaching inquiry or something along those lines and I'll get back to you on that as well. In addition, check out my website where there'll be exclusive content. That's progressiseverything.co.uk. I'll also be publishing very low cost courses on improving your freelancer journey, whether you are a current freelancer or if you're looking to start freelancing. This is just one video in the series about how you can improve your freelancing journey in your 30s. So make sure to check out all the other videos. In addition, I've got other videos that range from finance, getting more work, keeping work, politics at work, etc, etc. Remember, knowledge is power and progress is everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you check out my other videos for tips, tricks and hacks as well as other pros and cons.